Faith for Today with Colin Urquhart and Julia Fisher. Is faith a gift, Colin? We're talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit. We read that it is in 1 Corinthians 12. How can this be? Well, it's certainly a gift. Um, Jesus is the author and perfecter of our faith, we read in Hebrews. So even the faith that we need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ when we're born again is a gift from God. So there is the general faith uh, that every believer has. The scripture says, to everyone is given the measure of faith. And we are told to use the faith in the measure to which we have been given it. So everybody has faith. But uh, everybody, you know, who is born again has faith. In fact, every person has faith, but they don't all put their faith in Jesus. They may put their faith in themselves. They may put their faith in some other god, some false religion or whatever. But everybody has faith. Faith is basically that in which you trust. If you trust yourself, your faith is in your, yourself. Um, but I don't believe it's that general faith that is being spoken about here by Paul. He is talking about receiving a specific gift of faith. Now, there are two ways in which we can understand this. Let me just go back for a moment. You see, everybody has wisdom, a certain amount of wisdom that comes from your knowledge of God, your knowledge of Scripture, your knowledge of how the Holy Spirit works. But there are circumstances in which we need a word of wisdom. We need the Holy Spirit to give us wisdom when we really just don't know what to say in a situation. Uh, similarly, we sometimes need a word of knowledge that is to get to the heart of the problem or a word of knowledge about how God, the Holy Spirit, is moving or desires to move in another person's life. So it is with faith. We, we all have faith just as we all have knowledge and we all have wisdom. But there are times when we need specific faith. Now, there are two different ways, two different levels of understanding this. The one, the, which is the sort of traditional, typical, traditional Pentecostal way of interpreting this gift, is that in a specific situation, which is outside your normal level or experience of faith, God will give you the faith that you need for that specific situation or circumstance. Now, that is surely true. That gift is available. But just like, you know, you have to be open to the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge to be given you by God in the situation in which you're placed, so uh, we need to be prepared to actually acknowledge that there are some situations where we do not have the kind of faith, the quality of faith, the depth of faith that we need for that situation. In which case, you know, you can say to the Lord, Lord, you know that I just don't have the faith that believes you to solve this particular predicament. So please, by your spirit, give me a gift of faith. Now, faith comes by hearing and hearing from the proclaiming of God's word. So it may be that the Holy Spirit will answer that by speaking to you a word of Scripture which comes to you like a word of revelation, which inspires faith within you. And you know that because God has spoken, God has worked something in you that is going to enable you to face and to go through and to work through that situation with the Lord. So that is, if you like, the more traditional aspect of, or interpretation really, of the meaning of this gift. But I believe there's another one. And that which I've just said is totally valid. But I believe there is another gift of faith. And this you see operating in some Christians, but not in others. And those in whom this gift operates, 
live at a totally different level of faith from other believers. Now, remember, these are manifestations. They are gifts of the Holy Spirit. They're not things that God lends to us and then takes back. But you just find that there are some people that seem gifted in faith in the sense that they believe in no matter what the situation, they are living at a different level of faith from most other Christians. Now, I try to explain this to people by saying there is a dynamic of faith, of living faith, where people, they think faith. No matter what the situation, they react, they respond with faith. Now, I know that this gift operates in my own life. And I know when God released it to me because I saw this gift operating in somebody else. Now, I was already a man of faith. I'd already experienced revival. I'd already seen, I don't know how many miracles happening. So it wasn't that I didn't have faith, but I saw that man has a quality of faith. He has a kind of dynamic of faith that is evident in his life that is beyond anything I've known. Now, I didn't, I didn't want that man's faith. I didn't, certainly didn't want his ministry because I didn't care for his style of ministry, to be honest with you. But I, I saw that man's got something from God that I want, that I need. And so I began to pray, Lord, I want that dynamic of faith. And what happened was God gave me that gift of faith that dynamic of faith. And ever since that day, and I can recall the day I knew exactly where I was, exactly the situation I was in, but ever since that day, I have functioned at a totally different level of faith than I did before. Did it come through a struggle or a difficult situation? Because let's face it, that's how many people discover this gift uh, of faith. It was put to the test. Yes. God did it, and I was in a, a situation where I really had to hold on to God. And I realized that, that this was a test of faith because the scripture says there's the testing of your faith to prove it's genuine. And I was in a situation, I was right on the other side of the world. I was totally alone. I was actually locked up in a building uh, for the night which there was nobody else there. And I had the most horrendous pain. I just didn't know what was happening. I didn't know where to put myself. And... and you know, I was just crying out to God, and I just, it was, this was the day after I prayed this prayer, you know, <laughs> and I just knew, okay, this has been put to the test. But, you know, uh, right in the middle of all this, uh, God said to me, just go and lie down and, and go to sleep. And I thought, you must be joking. Lord. I was on the other side of the room trying to find a position that was comfortable enough to go in. I said, well, Lord, you're going to have to enable me to get to the bed, let alone lie on it. Well, somehow I managed to get to the bed, threw myself on the bed. Next thing I knew, I was awake the following morning and I was healed. And ever since that day, I've had that dynamic of faith. Now, I'm a little bit shy of sharing that testimony because I don't want people to think that if you ask for the dynamic of faith, you're going to have to go through something like that. That is what happened to me. It's not what happens to everybody. But it is common, isn't it? Uh, a I struggle, don't know. I a don't challenge. Know. I, you see, because I teach, I teach people this. I teach our Bible college students this. And I say, now God wants this dynamic of faith in your life. And certainly for most of them, and for a lot of the people on the staff of Kingdom Faith, this dynamic of faith is working through them. So they haven't been through the kind of struggle I went through. So I don't want people to be put off. Let me tell you, it's a wonderful thing to be in the situation where it doesn't matter what happens, your immediate reaction, your immediate response is a faith response. And I, I, in this program, I've given a testimony of how God healed me um, in the last couple of years. And that was because when I was given the diagnosis of what was happened to me uh, or, or you know, what was wrong, it was met immediately with faith. Why? Because I'm Colin Urquhart? No, 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 no. Because that dynamic of faith was already operating and active in my life. So my immediate reaction to the news 
was one of faith. Well, I know what the outcome will be. And the outcome will not be death, it will be life. It was interesting, Colin, that you said uh, when you saw this other person operating in this uh, level of faith that you wanted it, you really, really wanted it. Is that true of all these gifts? We've really, really got to want them. Well, yes, but I mean, that's true of all our dealings with God. But is that why some people have more faith than others? Well, it's it's why some people in the whole of their Christian lives uh, get further than others and are more fruitful than others is because they take the things of God more seriously than others. Their hearts are really after God, not just after faith, not just after gifts, but their hearts are really after God. And therefore, they want God's best purpose in their lives. And you see, why did God give me that gift of faith, that dynamic of faith? Not for myself, but so that in the years following, that faith could be used for the good of others, including all the people that are listening to me now, because this will open the eyes to many. They may have wondered, why do I see this dynamic of faith operating in some people but not in my life? Well, have you ever wanted it? Have you ever desired it? Have you ever really said, Lord, I want to be the person of faith that I see others to be? And I want that gift of faith to be operating in my life, not just occasionally, but as a way of life. You've been listening to Faith for Today, presented by Julia Fisher. This program is sponsored by Kingdom Faith. For further information, visit our website, kingdomfaith.com. 